So first of all, happy new year to everybody. It's 2022, I had to get that right, 2022. And um, so what I'll do, I thought I'd kick off with something to begin um, this year off with a kind of a lack of a bang. So I thought I'll change it up a bit and I'm gonna do 20 first dates, do's and don'ts. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna make it kind of spiritual though as well. So for all you spiritual people going on dates this year and or people who are non-spiritual, get ready. I'll see you after the intro. So boom, welcome back, greetings. My name is Jay, I'm from Karnak Holistics, where we learn together and we grow together in the sight of God. And as I mentioned, I said that I'm gonna do 20 first dates, do's and don'ts. Now, um, I'm going through a process of dating, obviously, clearly, as you probably know. And I've kind of compiled this from some of the things I've read and obviously what people told me of what they've kind of screwed up and they've done in their past. So um, I thought I'll put something together because I know some people said to me, well, like, what should I, because I know a friend of mine is going on dates as well and he's just recently broken up with someone. And he said, what, are, what should I, shouldn't I do? And I was going, okay, well, these are the kind of things I've been looking at. So um, I'm going to put in, yeah, I'm going to just chat about it and see how that sits you guys. And I thought it'd be kind of relevant for the first, video for 2022 in order to help people kind of get out there and start mixing because it is a tough environment it's like um my friend said to me the other day going on dates is get like going for an interview and and if you have that attitude then of course you're going to struggle and i said no going on a date is like going out with a, a friend who's a potential partner that's how you should be looking at it so i'm no um Love God. So I'm just getting by what I've I've done. I've been single for about six months the most. So yeah, I, let's just jump into this and me sort of flapping my mouth about the place. And let me just get onto it and let me start telling you and let me start with how the first um, do's and don'ts, what you shouldn't do when you're out or what you should be doing when you're out on your first date. So first of all, I just want to say is like this can be for any date, not just the do's and don'ts for the first, so, but I call it the first date because a lot of people go on first dates and this is like your novice, so I thought I'd start with this. First thing I wanna say is um, don't get ahead of yourself. Don't assume you got it in the bag. Don't assume that this person, whether it's um, same sex or um, opposite sex relationship, don't assume that you, because they invite you on a date that they are Something really rough today. Um, yeah, don't assume that they're gonna. They want to be with you. Yes, they are vetting you. I hate using that word, but they want to get to know you. So they want to know: Are you the person I want to spend their time with? Are you the one potentially that's going to replace, in a way, their friends? Are you going to be suitable to hang out with their friends and vice versa? So it's, uh, that's why I say. When you go out, go out like you're going out with a mate. Don't like start whatever, chatting rubbish, but you know, just be be relaxed, chill out. You know, it's a good time. You should be having it. It's a night out or a day out if you're going on a day out. Second one is don't open, um, don't open to unexpected um, ideas. Be, so be, be open to unexpected um, ideas. So that's a do, be open to it. So if, for example, you're used to just going to bars, clubs, restaurants, and she says, let's go, or he says, let's go to a museum, or let's go to a theme park, let's go for a walk in the park, you know, don't begin, what the hell, like, it must be crazy, that's boring, you know, because what they're doing, okay, what they're doing, they're letting you into their world, so allow, go with it, you will probably enjoy it, because obviously, you're used to these other environments, so that's a do you should do. Um, don't take some, um, some, yeah, this is wicked, don't take some. So don't take the person to a place where there's, there is eye candy. So where there's eye um, other people that are of interest. So don't be going to like some kind of um, fashion launch or something like that because your eye is going to be wandering. So be mindful of that because if you're going out with someone same sex or opposite sex, that person's with you. They're going to be mindful about and if they like you, 
that's why they're there. Um, they're going to be mindful about where your eyes roaming. So if like you're the person I'm looking at the camera, you're the person I'm out with and I'm looking over here and you're talking to me, you're, that's really rude, isn't it? You're going to be thinking like, what's he looking at? And then if you're talking and then you you spot someone over there, um, just in your peripheral and you look over there and then I look and then you start talking and then I watch this person go by as you're talking. Don't get me wrong. That's happened. That's happened to me in the past. And... I when this happened to me and what I did do, I said, that person reminds me of an old friend of mine and I thought it was them. And I gave, that was actually the truth. Be open and honest. If you like what that person is wearing, say that. You know, I know this sounds really strange. Say, actually, that person looks good in that outfit. You know, because therefore you're giving a reason why you're looking. Don't go, oh fuck, she looks well fit, or he looks well fit, or my bone in them. And know that that is a no-no, right? And you're gonna just gonna they'll just get up and leave. So don't don't be doing it. Um, next one is don't take oh, don't talk about exes. And there is a um, this is a yes or no one, right? And my thing is for me, if they if the person opposite brings up exes, right? then, okay, invite in. If they ask you about your ex, yeah, if they go to you, so tell me about your exes or an ex, um, what happened? Then make it short and brief, right? Just go, how long you been together, when you met, um, and how did it end? And then just go, even though you didn't end amicably, just go, you know, it is what it is. And that's, I don't really, and then you can just say, you know, I don't really want to talk about them. Maybe later on, further down the line, we can go into a bit more detail, but I want to get to know you. Don't, going to um don't go into some deep 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 um, conversation and then start talking about everybody and everyone i remember i went on my first date when i broke up with my the boy's mum and i was dating another girl for a year and then i was single for about a year and i remember six months seemed to be single i went on a date with this woman and i was talking to her and she said to me you're a really nice guy right but for the last 20 minutes half hour you've been talking about your two exes and i was gutted i was absolutely gutted didn't realize i thought she was interested and in, but really and which you're showing is that you're not over them and if this potential person wants to be with you they would want you to kind of like not go on about them you can talk about them but don't go on and on about them. i talk about this bit later on but let me just remind you on that so anyway, end up um, apologising and say, like, look, I'm really sorry. Um, and she goes, no, I understand it. She, I was lucky. She was, um, she was, I had I, I, I up and grown up about it. So yeah, we moved on from there. Um, I think, do wear sexy underwear. Now, if this, <laughs> and the guy's going, well, when we wear sexy underwear. You know, <laughs> yeah, boys and girls, you know what? Wear it. Look. If it makes you feel good, makes you feel sexy, do it. Brothers and sisters, do it. Yeah, if it makes you feel good. You know, guys don't have a pair of briefs or whatever, um, and they wear that because that's what they feel confident in, you know, they're lucky briefs. Um, if they're gay, they would wear some like jocks, whatever. If it's a girl, she wear um, fringe knickers, thong, whatever. So wear what you feel is right. There's nothing wrong with it. So don't feel anyway. Um do oh this is important and a lot of people don't think about this and i want to make this quite clear to you um do bring dental supply with you so flossing for example now you go to a restaurant how many times you've been out and then you you've eaten and then you've got that little bit of food stuck in your gob and between your teeth and you're like kind of suck it and then you look then you look like some kind of camel you know and then she's like looking at you thinking what are you doing what are you doing you know suck it on your teeth and she's going or he's going what you what you do and you make the excuse oh i'm just trying to get something out of my teeth you know disappear girl, i'm just gonna go into the loo or guys so i'm going to the toilet met uh, girls so i'm going to the toilet and then flush your face off do whatever you need to do but don't sit there it's like um, I'm trying to get it out because you may not notice it, but they, I, we notice it. The other person noticed it. And I had this when I was out with someone before and they had the food sucker. And I was looking and thinking, it's like one of them, would I gonna go and have like some kind of seizure, you know? And so I go to them, you're right. And they were like, oh no. I didn't like, they, they like laughed and go, so I got something stuck on my tooth. I go, it's all right, fair enough. Go and get it, you know, go and get it sorted. So yeah, be mindful. Nothing wrong with that. Or, you can just blatantly say to them, 
I'm just going to go and, um, what do you call it, floss, because I've got something stuck in my tooth. They will probably like you for that because they go, oh, this person takes care of themselves because you'd be surprised people that don't, you know. And then they, they, they get taken and they spit them. <laughs> I was out before and this person um, had some mustard stuck in their tooth. But as they cleared it, they were talking and the thing shot across the room and I noticed it and they noticed I noticed it. So, yeah, be mindful. Um, yeah, the other one, do call your friends for support, for prep work, for um, encouragement. Um, don't call him when you're there talking to the person so don't be there and go yeah hi um, yeah I'm having my, this girl now uh, and would you it's getting alright you know disappear into the loo or wherever you know not outside and just call your friend say Yo, this is how it's going get them to like support you on it I haven't in the past oh and let me add on to that turn your phone on off Put, there's nothing worse than when you're out with somebody and their bloody phone goes, whether it's texting or whether it's um, uh, an app. Put your phone, phone on silent. You're with the person for an hour, two, three hours. The world's not going to go to um, to pot. However, if you've got children, different. Then say to the person, look, I mean, I'm not teaching you to tack it because it's logic. If you've got children, you turn and say to the person, look, I'm leaving my phone on just in case they happens to the kids. They're going to go, all right then, you know, not put your phone on silent and then, you know, you find out your kid's in the hospital because you was out and you needed to be there. So be mindful. Um, so, yeah. Other point is, um, so you don't remember said about to wear something sexy, Underwear, wear something. Um, if you're going to wear something sexy on the outfit, on the outside, make sure it doesn't reveal what's on the inside, yeah? So don't be wearing your thong and wearing something tight. However, that could work for your benefit, you know? So it depends how you want to be viewed. If you want to be, you know, start with that too. It's, you know, everyone's up to their, their ways of, of doing it. Guys, if, <laughs> if you're going to wear a breeze, right, don't wear tight. Um, jeans, right? Because people notice it. Women notice it, guys notice it, so be mindful. Um, box is normally safer. And if you're getting commando, right, be mindful that if you go to the toilet, there could be that wet patch, right? So, guys, you know what I'm talking about. So, watch yourself. I think women probably know what I'm talking about if they've got brothers and stuff. So, yeah, be mindful. Um, other thing is, well, when you're, when you're going out with somebody, um, do... Facebook, uh, they call it, they say it's Facebook stalking, but that's not it. Um, have a look at their Facebook, right? Don't bloody start, what do you call it, um, turn into the CIA and start going through all their stuff and see who they met, were married to, who friends they were and whatever. Just kind of glide through it. And they will roughly tell you what kind of things they're into, you know, and when you're with them, you can talk about these, these things. Don't go, I noticed in your Facebook, blah, blah, blah. You know, but you can talk about these subjects. So if they're into wind, to go in um, surfing, you can talk about oh surfing. Um, make uh, make something up. Say my friend likes surfing um, or what you know, and just I don't know, mate. You can bring something in there in order to talk about it. And she go okay. Or if you say I want to try something, say she does something or he does something that you like that you that you see. Oh, that's quite interesting. Bring it up. Go oh um, you know one of the things I would like to one of my things on my bucket list. And some people call it fuck it list. Um, is I would like to go um, paragliding, yeah. And she'd probably go, or he go, ah, oh, yeah, I do that. You come along with me, second date, third date, you know. There you go. Be mindful and think ahead. Um, um, don't let them. <laughs> this is interesting. Don't send them a friend request on Facebook, right? Don't leave them at the end of the night and send a face request unless they ask you to join Facebook, right, or whatever, any social media, Instagram, whatever. Don't do it straight away unless you're invited because it's like going around somebody's house and then just turning out unannounced. You know, you wouldn't do that. Well, I hope you wouldn't. So be mindful. Be be smart about it. Um, wait for them to ask or you can ask them, look, do you want to go on there? When is the right time? You're probably saying to ask them when you want to go on Facebook. Um, I'll say after the f second, third date, when it gets a bit more, when they, when they get to know you for crying out loud, you know, don't be there for 10 minutes and then go, oh, can I be, have your face? Can I, can I befriend you on Facebook? I had that and I said to him, no, um, that didn't go down too well. Um, 
next thing is um, um, don't drink on a date. Right. Now, you can drink, but don't binge drink. Now, I've been out, right? This is a true story. I've been out and this person, like, we, we went out and we went to a, a bar and we had a few drinks. I don't drink, so I was, like, on, like, soft drinks. But they drunk, right? And then, so we went back to mine, I think it was. Um, and then they bought, so they bought a bottle um, of what of brandy? Well, what what drink do you? They asked me what drink I drink. I said oh, I used to I used to drink brandy. But I don't really drink 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 it now. So anyway, they bought a bottle of brandy and they bought a bottle of vodka. And I'm thinking, what the hell? What the hell? And I'm like, that's a bit strange. So you're we thinking, what's the bottle for? Now this person said, oh, got the um, got the brandy out and tipped another you know, vodka as well. And then um, two glasses because I'm, I'm not drinking. One, it sounds like they're trying to get you pissed. Right, which that's another thing you don't do. So add that in there with, with that as well. Don't don't try and get the, your person pissed because that wouldn't that doesn't go down well. You won't see them again. Um, so anyway, the person got totally out of their red, right? And they just was like they yeah they just wasn't there. I had to carry them to the car and take them home. Ho and leave the window down just in case it threw up. Now that didn't go too well. Phoned me the following day saying I'm really sorry. Blah blah blah. To it was really gone. You know, I really knew this person had issues. So. It's just not what I was looking for. So, um, yeah. If they obviously had issues and they told me about it, and then whatever we could take it from there. But, you know, yeah, it was just wasn't happening. Um, uh, do have a positive attitude. I know it sounds really stupid to say, and it sounds almost like school kid attitude to say, have a positive attitude. Have a positive attitude. Don't go there in an, in an act with an attitude. Best way to have this is listen to upbeat music if you're drive in, walk in, listen to music, have something upbeat. So when you get there, you're kind of pumped and ready for um, your date and they would love it. Because um, if you go there listening to blues, you're gonna be depressed. So be mindful. Um, right, second thing, this is interesting. Don't question them about their height. Now, you should know this already if you're talking to the person anyway, before you're on this date. You can reference it. So say if you're chatting on, you've been texting. One of the first things you talk about, yeah, say well, I'm at 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, first thing I would want to know is how tall the person is. So if the person's going to be 4'2", right, I want to know if they're 4'2". No, that's going to be an issue. If they're going to be 6'9", or something, I want to know if they're 6'9". So you, you kind of go, oh, how old are you? What size you are? How tall you are? And so on, right? So it's self-explanatory. Then when you see them, you can go to them, oh, wow, you don't look that, you, you know, get, you can talk about their height, but don't make it into a big drama about it. Just mention that, yeah, you don't, you know, they will normally bring it up anyway. They normally go, oh, you don't look sick, um, five, whatever, five, ten. Like, I met someone who was six, three, so they'd be taller than me. And I was, I was almost as as tall as them. And I made a joke, maybe because I'm standing on the pavement, but that wasn't the case. But um, and they, they like laughed about it. So yeah, it wasn't an issue. I think the height thing went, and they were really um, cautious about the height thing. Um, so the other one, I think this is almost kind of like taking taking a piss, really. Um, do act interested in, even though you're not. But remember, you're there for a few hours. Show that you're interested, and just carry on a conversation, we can go with the flow, and then just be there, you know, be in a moment. Um, don't just totally ignore them and go like, start looking away and start looking at your watch and stuff. Just think about, if you don't feel it's going right, just say, look, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm just not feeling it. And then just maybe both of you can just go, but just be open, the other thing I'm saying, be open and honest. Nothing worse than there, you're sitting there for two, three hours and spending money on a meal or go where to go on something. And this person thinking, oh yeah, I'm, I'm on a short thing here because the person is obviously talking to me and laughing at my jokes when it's a fake laugh. So um, be mindful about that as well. So um, be open and honest. And I think they will, they will respect you for that. Um, if they go for you, there's another story. But um, <laughs> just, you just know, just say, look, and it's not, I've, I've said this, I've been out and I've like, met the person, I've been speaking for a oh, short time and I've gone, nah, I'm not feeling it. And then they were like, all right, fair enough. But I really like you. I goes, yeah, maybe we're just friends. And yeah, off, and then said off we trot. So then, then they went. So anyway, um, uh, 
this is really, I think this is so important. This is when it goes back to talking about exes. Don't turn your date into a therapy session, yeah? And I know people who have gone on dates and then they almost wanted to get a couch out for them to let the person to lay down and start telling them their life story. Uh, I, met a, I met someone before. He was talking about who within the space of an hour, talking on the phone, told me their life story. I mean, deep stuff. And I was just like, that is fr even frightened me off. So, and I'm like as laid back as it can come. But, um, so don't go, there is getting to a level where you talk about stuff. To say don't talk about religion or football or politics. Um, but if you're spiritual, you're going to talk about religion, isn't it? So, um, sharing ideas. And how, if you, by the time you get to meet each other, you probably would have had some kind of banter oh, what's going on. So, but don't turn it, don't turn it into a therapy session. And you don't make it into a therapy session as well. So don't start coming with your, your issues. Like, oh, work was crap and all the rest of it. So, yeah, be mindful. Um, other thing I thought was important, um, I thought, don't get too personal. So don't talk about shit that's happened to you like when you were like 19 or when you was like eight or shit like that, right? Unless it, they talk about it. Not on your first date. That's like seven, eight dates or third dates or whatever. Um, because, yeah, they're just going to think, shit, this guy's or that woman's like really got problems, you know? So especially on the first date, they just they want to know... They, they were going window shopping, so they want to go look at the shop. So they've gone through the door, and that's the first date. And they look to the, they just gazed around the, down the shop. That's the first date. And then they start looking at the uh, garments, second date, and so on and so forth. So be mindful. Um, don't discuss issues um, that are important. Yeah, do discuss issues that are important to you. So you can talk about climate change. Um, I mean, I say about religion and all that, if it is important to you and it's important to them that's what you share in common that'd be good that's fine but if you would just don't have anything in common don't start talking about them um but if you share that in common then speak about it which is all good um second thing is don't talk about sex it's like when you go for an interview don't talk about money don't talk about sex don't look at him him or her up and down especially when you're talking to them don't look at their breasts or don't look at their package um be eyes on the prize eyes on the eyes yeah, I always say that, eyes on the eyes. Because you get eyes on the eyes, um, and then you're generally interested in the person, then talk, then you can generally um, talk. If they say, do you like my outfit? They want you to look. Then wait to be invited. Don't just go in there like you're some kind of player, right? Be mindful. And, you know, some people do, some people don't give a shit and just do it. Um, but don't, that because that would just, they, they, they will suss it. Um, don't go... Um, don't go, don't assume you're going to another location after the first one. Don't just assume, for example, you're going to go, you go for um, dinner and then you're going to think, oh, I'm going to go for drinks. Or you're having a drink and then it's late. Oh, she get, I'm going back to their place. Don't assume, right? Just enjoy the moment. And if it does come up and then you're going and they go, you can go, do you want to go somewhere else? And if you go yes or no, um, then all good. If they go, no, I, no, I've got to get back. Don't start throwing your toys at the prime and start throwing a tantrum and start falling on the floor and getting all excited. Just go, okay, do you want me to call your cab, whatever, and then just let them go. Um, other courtesy is just if they've got your number, get them to text you when they get home. You know, if you're, if you're driving or whatever and they want you to dead mind you, dropping them home, drop them home. Wait for them to go into the house. Don't drop them off and drive off, right? Because that is just rude. Um, <laughs> I've seen this and I, I always say I used to say to my kids if you're taking the girl home make sure she gets to the door if you can't walk into the door wait for her to go in and then say to her so you don't look like some kind of stalker go look I just want to make sure you're alright so I just wait for you to go in through the door just wave that you're okay and then she goes into the door if the people in the house is a different thing she's on her own then make sure she's safe um, but and I say don't just drop them I got a friend who will literally drive to the person's house if they don't invite him out for um, like coffee or whatever, um, he will literally wait and go right then, shut the door and drive off and <laughs> the first in there. And I was going, "You're harsh. That's rude." And he goes, "No, he's not." Well, at the end of the day, it's her problem. Anyway, and um, guess still single, by the way. If I mentioned that, um, so there you go. And um, my last one is, is 
Um, don't add, this is important, don't add, and I said this about Facebook, don't add into social media unless they ask you to. Um, and I, I want to reiterate this because everyone just might assume you meet one time on social media. I've been places, right, visiting places, and I've been with my friend, a friend of mine, and we've been there, and this isn't a date, this is just like um, a social thing. And people have gone to me, we met, we've spoken for a few times, <clears throat> spoken for about 20 minutes, half hour. Oh, can I take your, um, can I faith, can I um, send you a friend request on Facebook? Hell no. And it goes, because obviously my Facebook is all my family. And um, so I'd, unless it's business, and I have a business one. Um, but I'm like, no, I don't even bloody know you. Why would I want you to be on my Facebook? So I think Instagram is different because Instagram is about pictures. So you can get away with Instagram. LinkedIn's another one. You can get away with it's a business environment. But when it's on a date, um, don't rush in and say, can I be your friend, Facebook request friend? Because, you know, she would think, oh, damn, he's going to start weather and go through your her pictures or his pictures so be mindful so that's my 20 do's and don'ts on your first date i hope it goes well let me know if you're going on dates this year and it goes well it goes well and i wish you great loving the important thing is yeah is to be yourself just be you that you can't be penalized for you being a beautiful person that you are if they don't like you for you then fuck them Move on to the next one. Um, and then you find someone, you put out to the universe, you find someone decent. So leave you with that. God bless. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. And namaste.